Hi Taurus, I hope you're doing well. So we'll be looking at whoever you're thinking about here for the rest of the year. Um, yeah, those are the signs. Can be air as well. Not too strong though. More so Aquarius and Pisces, major arcana. Doesn't have to be, but sometimes it's interesting to see if we have any synchronicities. I have oracle cards that we'll be looking at here towards the end of the reading. Um, perhaps other zodiac signs will come through. Their personality, two of swords, five of swords, the star, ten of cups, very indecisive energy. This can be um, someone who's coming out of a long-term relationship, some conflict um, they're leaving behind here. So it is a bit of a blocked off energy, whatever the past hurt they're carrying on to, but um, they're mostly recovered, they're healing, but they've learned some valuable lessons um, from that situation, so they're not really jumping into anything. Perhaps the past, um, they were someone who sort of was embodying the full energy, right? Sort of leaping before they look. But this time around, they're more cautious here, is what I'm getting. But yeah, very self-reliant, someone who's hopeful. They're manifesting love, they're manifesting a family. Some of them, they're manifesting just happiness in general, right? I am getting a very optimistic vibe from them. I do want to pull out this other deck to get more. Some of you... Um, this person, yeah, I was telling you, they may be healing, healing from a breakup. Who is Taurus Singles next date? You may meet this person online with the star. Moon, Cancer Energy, Sun, Moon, so they may have Sun, Trine, Moon, Sun, Conjunct, Moon. This person knows themselves. They have healthy boundaries. The masculine and feminine within this person is very much in balance. Um, perhaps they come from a very stable home, right? They had a happy childhood that is coming through. Yeah, likely Sun, Trine, Moon. And it can also be when it comes to you. The, the, sort of that yin yang is what I'm picking up on. You you really can work. You flow well together. You there's a great friendship here. Who is Taurus singles next date? Eighth house wanted to flip through a few times. We have Gemini and the eighth house. Strong chemistry. We also have Leo coming through. So yeah, someone who is very confident. Um, they hold back a lot. A bit mysterious with the high priestess. You'll find them to be very intriguing. They may be someone who gets a lot of attention, but they are close to very few, is what I'm getting. It's almost like they're in a very high vibration, so they try to um, stay away from those that are lower vibrational. They don't like drama, is what is coming through. How you'll meet them, we have the Empress. This isn't giving me much. Empress is someone who goes with the flow normally someone who attracts rather than chases so it's almost like when you make yourself available when you're open to love this person will come in for when we have three of cups yeah making yourself available going out more this can be some celebration but it can just be putting yourself out there <laughs> with this homemade deck we have may so may may be significant we have have patience they're older than you they will be trying to impress you. So this person is likely the one um, to come after you, to pursue you, send you that first message. They may be older than you. Where's the timing deck? Right here. And for timing, we had stop obsessing, which is interesting. You're the only sign to get half patience and we have stop obsessing. So if you've been obsessively waiting for a new love, they're telling you to stop waiting. Make yourself available, be receptive, but don't obsess. We have June, so you have one month coming through, but we also had May, and then we also have in a few months. So I don't think it's far from now, Taurus. This person's energy on the first date, High Priestess, Page of Wands. Yeah, they hold back a lot. This is someone who's very intuitive. Um, likely, they can be tarot readers even, but they have some spiritual knowledge here or they may just be spiritual as a person someone who has strong faith or they may even be someone who's religious or they pray but i see a lot of flirting here flirting with their eyes <laughs> that's what i'm getting some of them may even hide their more uh, sexual energy 
they may like they may not reveal um how intense they feel about you clarify high priestess more observing you than they are talking it's like silently watching you silently watching you analyzing you on this first date why is high priestess here clarify the high priestess for this person's energy knight of pentacles three of wands yeah they're very hopeful they're manifesting ten of cups but they're also not one to rush into anything it's sort of getting to know each other phase yeah this may be someone who relies on their intuition but they may also be someone who watches you um for example say on social media they'll try to gather information about you behind the scenes in whatever way they can but definitely a strong physical attraction here with the page of wands um they'll try to keep things more light-hearted and fun so it, it will be a fun date um you'll really enjoy yourself and they will as well your energy king of pentacles the tower with the tower i'm getting there may be something unexpected um for example how you meet this person they're not really giving us any scenarios um, which i did get for the other signs but for you it's almost like they're wanting to keep this hidden for whatever reason there's something about a surprise here but your energy is very stable grounded um you're on top of your game here you're looking good um some of you are dating for long term that is coming through why is the tower here? Some of you may offer to buy this person a drink if you identify as the more masculine energy because I'm sort of getting a more feminine energy here. The receptive and then more masculine for you. Some of you may be ending a marriage or you've come out of a long-term commitment here as well. But you've landed on your feet so you have nothing to worry about. Yeah, very hard working. Look at you. Wow, Knight of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, the world, Saturn, Capricorn. Some of you, there may be some drastic shifts when it comes to your work, your finances, but I don't see it being anything too negative here. Um, yeah, you, you're the boss. Some of you will be getting a promotion around the time you meet this person, or you'll be financially stable is what I'm seeing. Some of you, something about work is coming through. So you may meet, say, at a work party or this unexpectedly through work. That is the vibe I'm getting, right? Because Empress, for how you'll meet, yes, I was telling you to make yourself available, put yourself out there, but also it rules our second house, right? So that can be finances. They're not giving us any scenarios, and I don't like that. But this person will think you're beautiful, you're very handsome. I'm trying to dig here for you. Let's see if they'll give us any scenarios. How are how will Taurus singles likely meet this person they'll go on a date with next? Three, three, three. Give us something. You will be coworkers, and others of you work party is wanting to peek through, and we also have through family, extended family, perhaps some get together or something. I definitely work work party but it's unexpected how they'll be viewing you on this first date page of swords asking a lot of questions very curious inquisitive so yeah they'll like you but i see an age difference whoever the masculine energy is whatever you identify as right but i'm seeing the masculine is older than the feminine um that is coming through so you're, they're seeing you as the Page of Swords, you're seeing them as the Queen of Swords. Yeah, I see you asking a lot of questions, this person being very receptive, they'll be honest with you. At least you're perceiving them to be someone of integrity, someone with integrity, someone who's honest. They say it like it is. They don't mince their words. This is not like an overly uh, talkative energy. That's just right. They know when to hold back. They're mature, and some of them, sometimes Queen of Swords can be a divorcee, and I was picking up on that energy, that they may have come out of a difficult situation with the Five of Swords, right? But a little bit closed off and detached, but open to communication, a lot of back and forth messages. Your potential outcome, we have Queen of Cups, Two of Wands, Strength. Hmm. This is a bit complicated. 
Two of Wands seems to be this person's energy. They're very attracted to you, they're looking in your direction, but they may have other people in their energy around the time you go on this first date. So it may be that there's you and another energy or there's multiple people, um, but they're at a crossroads. The biggest issue I see with this person is indecision, right? Because Queen of Swords is Libra, Two of Wands, Two of Swords in their energy. Perhaps a fear of making the wrong decision. Um, they do seem to be manifesting the one with the star, but they can have a hard time making up their mind. So if you, you know, stick around, patience will be required here. There's strong potential because I see emotions here on both ends, but with time. And some of you, there's another challenge here, um, travel. So there may be distance between the both of you, which is why you have to restrain yourselves or you have to hold back a lot, right? Because you have to sort of make plans um, to travel to see each other. So that is a decision you'll have to make. I did ask, what is their potential for long term? We have Wheel of Fortune, Two of Cups, Nine of Wands. They're saying, yeah, but you need to trust, right? You need to have faith in the universe um, and also trust in one another, which will build over time. It's nothing overnight, right? You both may have trust issues. Page of Swords is a very suspicious energy as well, right? But what they are telling me, their strong potential, it can be long term. Because Wheel of Fortune, Two of Cups is a very fortunate union, sometimes can be a destined connection, right? Fate is bringing the both of you together. But guards are up here on both ends. You've both been through your fair share of challenges and there's trust issues as a result. So yeah, if you trust a little, you let your guard down slowly, um, this definitely can work. So they're really telling us that it's up to you, but it, the universe is presenting this person to you. Now it's up to you what you make of it, right? But there's strong potential, which is positive for some signs I was getting. Definitely no long term there. So in that sense, it's pretty positive. Okay, let's look at oracles. So it's you versus them. We have manipulation in your energy problem. So there is a little bit of manipulation when it comes to you. I think you really like this person. So there may be a fear of losing this energy um, or there's just trust issues. You know, what are they doing? Who else are they talking to? So that is sort of what I'm getting. But yeah, you may try to control the situation or just restrain how much of yourself you give initially, something along those lines. I don't see anything too negative here, really. It's more stemming from fears. Yeah, which we have fear. Fears blocking connection, scared to take a leap of faith, losing sleep due to fears. Yeah, the fears is mostly coming through in your energy. You're in your comfort zone. King of Pentacles can be like that, and this person sort of... For one, it's unexpected. Like, where did that come from? And then it, it, there is a feeling of uncomfortable. Um, you're feeling a bit unsettled, right? because life will never be the same. But I think it's in a good way. After this person makes a decision, you're both on the fence here, right? You're more so scared to take a leap of faith or scared to make the wrong decision. So a lot of overthinking here in your energy and fears are holding you back. Fears are causing this manipulation um, here as well. Control issues. We have text call. I love our banter over the phone. So if there is travel here, we also have travel. Pack your bags, we are going on a trip. So it definitely can be online or you meet while traveling to see family, something along those lines. Um, so a lot of your communication may be over the phone, back and forth text messages. Or you may say you know this person through work, you may plan a vacation or trip somewhere. I don't know, there's many possibilities here. Definitely strong communication between the both of you, a lot of back and forth flirting. You'll enjoy getting to know this person. We have well to do. You can depend on me. I'm financially stable and grounded. That's so funny with the King of Pentacles and well to do. Yeah, you're financially stable. Some of you may offer to pay for this first date or something, pay for a trip, or you may be the one traveling to them. You have the resources. But more so what's standing out to me is you can depend on me. I'm financially stable, grounded, pretty much describes the King of Pentacles, right? We have my love has matured. I am now ready for true love. So if you have been through a difficult, difficult breakup, you'll be completely healed. You'll be ready to move 
forward here. So I don't see any past lingering. You're doing well. Some of you have built something out of nothing. Seriously, with the tower, you started from scratch and you've built an empire. That is the vibe I'm getting. I'm seeing a drastic shift here. Um, you should be proud of yourself. This love is so intense, I can't help but to wonder if you put a spell on me. There's nowhere to hide. Tower is also Scorpio energy, so strong uh, chemistry, passion here. So definitely this person evokes a lot of um, emotions, feelings within you. But I see you holding back that urge to sort of... It's almost like you want to pounce, but you'll be restraining yourself. So I see strong chemistry here. And it's on both ends. Uh, Taurus. Let's look at their side of the spread now. Uh, what is happening here? We have naivety. Um, so this person may be someone who doesn't have much experience. They may be naive. But you know what? There's three people here in this depiction. We have serial dater. I like to date many people. Don't take it personal. For a lot of you, I don't feel this person is a cheater, a liar. I don't see that. There's no indications that this person is deceptive, right? So I can't make something up. And I like to give tarot priority over oracle cards. I more so use oracle to support um, what the tarot is telling us. But what I can tell you with three people here, serial dater, some of you are sort of getting that online situation. Um, they may be exploring their options because I was feeling that they have a decision to make with the two of wands and there's distance between the both of you initially as well so there is some challenges here um, between the both of you but yeah, this is faded so there's a strong pull um, despite the challenges that this person feels right towards you but initially there may be other people we have blossoming we have love coffee and so the adventure begins love is blooming some of you this first date may be at a coffee shop or something but love is blossoming um they will be developing feelings for you here and it will be mutual is what is saying too late feel it's too late to fix things feel pressured interesting feel pressured to make a decision taking a long time to decide yeah, this person's indecisive. Some of them may feel pressured to make a decision. You're a great catch and they're aware, but they're indecisive here. Some of them have another option, so they have to choose. Some of you will be playing hard to get here as well, so I don't see you making it easy for this person either. So that is a bit of a heads up. If you really like this person, make sure you, you don't play too hard to get. It's a side message because this person may, you know, shy away here. Although they will want you. You're the one they're leaning towards is what I keep feeling because it's meant to be. You're meant to cross paths. Um, some of them may not even be able to describe why they feel this pull towards you, right? And with the high priestess, there is an inner knowing that you're someone special. We have I love you. But I'm afraid what this love might bring. I'm not sure I'm ready. Yeah, taking a long time to decide. I'm not sure I'm ready. But key words, I love you, right? In capital letters. But there's also a fear of change in this person's energy. I have to make changes in order to be with you. I'm not sure I'm ready. I'm not sure I'm ready for a love at this level. That is also coming through. We have, I'm afraid of expressing my feelings and have you reject me. My ego won't be able to handle it. Sometimes five of swords can be a bit of an ego here as well. But it's nothing too bad. Queen of swords is a reasonable energy normally. So there may be a fear of rejection here. Some of you, I was telling you, you may be playing hard to get. Um, so they may have a hard time reading you here as well, right? Where they stand with you, what's going on. There is... Um, fear of rejection in their energy. Let's get you some hints about who this person is. Taurus. Wait. Only sign to get this creative. 
This person potentially enjoys art, working with their hands, music, and enjoys putting ideas to work. So yeah, very creative star. Aquarius energy. They may do something. They may be very artistic. They may like to paint, to draw something. They have some creative talents. But also thinking outside the box, right? With that Aquarius energy. Closed off. Yeah, that's the Two of Swords, Five of Swords. This person has been deeply wounded and trust must be established to open their heart. That's the challenge, right? I'm not saying put your life on hold, but always listen to your intuition. It is a general reading, right? So you know best, but I don't feel this is a bad person. They may just take a little bit of a time to um, trust the situation, trust you. We also have Gemini. Symbolized by the twins, ruled by Mercury, they are the thinkers and communi communicators of the zodiac with many facets. So complicated. One more. Who is that? Generational difference. It is possible for a 10 plus years age difference to work. Remain open-minded. Remember love knows no bounds. And they can be jealous here. Ooh. Life partner? Jealous. This person may be a little possessive, stemming from infidelity or insecurity. Maybe both. Right? They may be have they may have been cheated on. Yeah, so there may be an age difference with this person being older or the more masculine energy being older. But this can work. Definitely can. Who is Taurus Singles next date? Self-employed? I was also seeing um entrepreneur, so definitely can be. And they're also financially stable, which is beautiful. Who is Taurus Singles next date? Let's get a few more. Health conscious. So even if they are older, this is someone who may appear younger, but they're healthy. They take care of their body. As in the star, she's completely naked here as well. So this person may even be known for uh, I don't know if they're known for it, but people find them attractive. Um, their body is... You'll really like their body. We have Honest, and that is how you were seeing them with the Queen of Swords. And Good Communicator. Definitely. Night Owl. Somebody this first date may be at night here as well. Who is Taurus Singles? Next date. Loyal, we love that. Once they commit, they're a little bit hesitant to commit. They don't want to make the wrong decision. But once they do, loyal, honest. We also have social butterfly, Gemini energy. They may like to socialize. One more, who is Taurus Singles next date? Needs to grow up. Something about age difference coming through. And they're very motivated. I'm not sure what needs to grow up means. Needs to grow up, I'm not sure they're ready for marriage. Um, if that is what you're looking for. Because needs to grow up was clarified by marriage. Your advice, we have dreams. Pay attention to your dreams. They are providing rich insights into the issues that are playing on your mind. Uh, yeah, you may be getting some guidance through your dreams. You may be manifesting this person. What advice do you have for... Okay. The witch. A lot about dreams, the subconscious mind, higher power. We have awaken your inner witch. Put all of your fierce and feminine powers to work. Some of you are witches. Queen of Cups, High Priestess, or this person maybe. But you're very connected to... A higher power. We also have star, right? Star dreams the witch. Shoot for the stars. Don't you dare settle for fine. Set your sights higher. You deserve better. Perhaps you're letting go of something. We have closure here, right? And that is what is coming through. We did have tower, but you'll land on your feet if that is the case, Taurus. But I think that is what I have for you. Hopefully this was helpful. Take care of yourself. I'll see you next week. Bye.